Hey, this is Ocean K with a detailed look at the A14 LFO. Now, the LFO is a simple module that generates four different types of CV signals saw, triangle, square, and sine. Now, there are three speed ranges there's slow, medium, and fast. Let's put this LFO to work so we can hear how that sounds. We'll send a, a sine wave to our VCA. Now, at slow and our minimum, that's a very, very slow um, cycle. At fast, our maximum, this is now in the audible range. So we can go from very fast to very slow. The LFO can also be tempo synced. And when tempo synced, it can go anywhere from an eight measure cycle, so a very slow cycle, to a 164th note cycle, so very fast. So even when tempo synced, it can go from very slow to very fast. Now, if you've watched the detail video for the A11 VCO, you'll know that PW, or pulse width, only applies to square waves. So let's change this to a square wave. Now, when looking at a square wave, we see that there's a high signal and a low signal. Uh, normally, the high signal and the low signal are the same length or the same width. In this case, we see that the LED is on and then off, and the on and off are the same amount of time. But if we change pulse width, we can see that the on becomes a lot longer and the off is very short, or changing it to the other side, the on is very short and the off is uh, much longer. So pulse width, pulse width only applies to square waves. All right. Now looking at the back, we see that we've got CV out signals uh, for all four uh, types of CV signals, and we can use them all at the same time. There are also CV ins to control sync, rate, and pulse width. Now when there's a CV signal going into sync and rate, that CV signal controls those parameters. And when there's a connection to the pulse width CV in, that CV in signal controls the pulse width knob, uh, or the pulse width parameter, and the pulse width knob becomes a trim for that signal. So that's it. That's all there is to the A14 LFO.